Dodgers, of course, uh, they could use a little relief help. Um, Felipe Vasquez uh, is out there. You mentioned him earlier when it came to the Braves. He's available. But it may cost him a lot. The reports are they want two of the Dodgers' top four prospects. Dodgers want to win the World Series this mm -hmm. year. Finishing oh, in second yeah. place ain't good enough this season. No question. Should they go ahead, if that's the price, to get a quality reliever like him? Should well, they go ahead and make that move? If you're looking at the Dodgers and you're saying there's a problem, you're saying, where's the problem? They've been so good. But you look at the back end of the bullpen. Kenley Jansen, four blown saves. That matches last year's blown saves. So you look at their roster, and they, and they are an analytic team. I don't know if they go out and get Felipe Vasquez, because I think that's a bold move. It wouldn't be a surprising, because they do right. have to and win. And how it. nasty is he? No mm -hmm. doubt about it. But I think they'll go out and get a couple arms. And that's the reason why I think they're going to have to have that surplus. They know they can shift certain guys in the, in, in the starting rotation to the bullpen, which they do every single year, but this year has to be magical for them. Not okay, mm -hmm. it has to be magical. I think they go out and get two arms. Yeah, I'm only going to talk of this from a player's perspective and just like an overall locker room guy, mm -hmm. right? If you bring over another closer to take over for the closer that we already yeah. have on the deal that he's on, that has a major, that could cause a major riff in the locker room. I think, so? I think the Los Angeles Dodgers have learned over time that they don't need all those personalities in okay. the locker room. You may not need all that talent. What you you need are pieces of the puzzle and like Swain said with as analytical as the Los Angeles Dodgers are maybe Vasquez isn't the guy maybe mm -hmm. they got their guy their eye on somebody else because let's be honest if Joe Kelly and Kenley Jansen are good to go yes. maybe that's all you right. need these guys can get it done they just haven't as of late so no need to worry we still got plenty of time left in the season but I think at the end of the day I don't want to bring anybody else to take Jansen's place because I know he can get the job done for yeah me. that locker room dynamic is important because they've created that they've really gotten rid yep. of some big personalities big and I think they've done a really good job moving forward that being said moving forward with that big lead they have to get their bullpen right they right. have to get those aspects and there's not gonna be a lot of save situations if you're playing some teams that you're just blowing out at the end of the year they have to get healthy at the right time and go on that run. That's going to be imperative for them. Oh, regardless, it's World Series winners. Yes. Or busts. Yeah, that's right. I mean, LA you Dodgers. can't lose third time in a row. This no. ain't the Buffalo Bills. Who needs more help at the trade deadline? Yeah, I think right now I'm going to go with the second place team. I mean, obviously the Braves are in first place. Five and a half games going into tonight. Huge series, obviously, for the Nationals. But the one thing the Washington Nationals have been missing for years upon years upon years has been a back end, front line closer. I'm telling you what, with the, all the talent that this team has had for them to get themselves back in the playoff race. Obviously, the wild card is great, but for me, man, I'm trying to win that division. I need myself a closer, and I think the urgency is more for the Washington Nationals than it is the Atlanta Braves. I think the urgency really comes down to the Atlanta Braves, and I'll tell you why. 90 wins last year, mm -hmm. and Brian Snicker, manager of the year, he has the ability to take it to the next level because this is a talented ball club that had experience last year. They lost in the division series 3-1 to one to the Dodgers, a more talented team last year. This year, I think they are one of those things where if they add a starter, it probably is Massa Bumgarner if he's available. Mm. I think their real need is the bullpen because okay. you look at Luke Jackson at the back end. Right. He's blown seven saves. Yep. Wow. That's demoralizing to a team. I think they have to address that. How they do that is they go out and get a bullpen arms, maybe two. If you think about it, Felipe Vasquez is one of those guys. He's not in the division. Maybe you can go out there and get him. That is something that is maybe a priority. But you look at Brad Hand, maybe even Kirby Yates from San Diego. That's a combination that you look at. But there's a lot of bullpen arms. That's the weakness in my mind if you look at the Braves and they have to address that. Oh, I do like that Mad Bum. I think he'd actually fit great right there. You know, kind of likes that, you know, uh, kind of like that country type atmosphere. Mm -hmm. he keep yeah. his beard, keep doing his thing. He'd be great in the locker room for those young starting pitchers. But either way, man, both of those teams have got themselves got themselves in a good position. And if you look at it, guys, uh, the, the, the Braves have the ability to throw at the starters, especially the addition of Dallas Keuchel, but they don't have swing and miss in their rotation. Right, right. So how you uh, complement that, you shorten the game a little bit. I think that's what's going to have to happen for the for the Braves. Now, another giant could go along in that bullpen as well. Will Smith might 100%. be available as well. That would be a too. big addition uh, for the Braves. Yes, but sir. the Giants are in that mix. Once again, the trade deadline is coming up in just two days. And I guess the big Pitcher that's out there, everybody's talking about is Madison Bumgarner. So if you're the San Francisco Giants now, 
Do you go for that wild card, keep Bumgarner, or trade him away and, and look forward to the future? Well, I think if, with, with where they are right now, I think the iron is hot, and I think they need to strike while the iron is hot. There's no doubt about it. Right now with where they are, in my opinion, see, I'm, I, I, I don't have all that love. My heart's not in San Francisco, oh, so I'm looking oh. at it from the outside, right? I think that right now Farhan has an unbelievable opportunity to restock his entire organization right now. Mm -hmm. They've got a couple guys that are really good trade bait guys. You said his name earlier, Madison Bumgarner, along with Will Smith as well. But I'm telling you what, man, if they can get something for these guys right now, absolutely I would go ahead and do that. Yeah, and you look at it, guys. I've been in that Giants uniform. I understand that fan base and its passion. There's been high expectations because of the World World Championships under Bruce Bochy. Bruce Bochy's last year. So you're starting to realize... They went on a winning stretch, which was surprising to a lot of people. Not only their organization, but everyone in the NL West, even in the NL. Because if I watched this team at the beginning of the year, they looked old. They looked like they were going to struggle. One of the tough five worst teams. And, and Madison Bumgarner wasn't winning games. So if you look at that record, it really comes down to it. Madison Bumgarner, I think, has to go. you got to go with not with your heart, with the head and surplus right. that. You also got to see if you can trade him, dude, too, as well, because he's got these teams on his no trade list. Yes. Not, so he's got to be willing to go to those teams as right. well.